Good day horror fans! I'm sure you're familiar with the American haunted house movies and the ghost films from Asia. Well, how about a Swedish haunted house film? How do ghosts operate in the land of meatballs and blondes? Let's find out with the 1988 film The Visitors, or The Sökarna as it's known as in its native language. Before I start with the review, I just wanna let you know that there are two cuts available of the film. The US English dubbed cut is a bit shorter, with some scenes shortened or just cut out. As you can tell by the short clips I include in this video, I went with the original Swedish version. So, back to the movie. The visitor starts out with a normal Swedish couple moving into a big new house. This is not a house they gotten a great deal on or anything like that. Instead the man of the family, Frank, is counting on selling an idea to an advertisement company, and if that does not go well, then they are going to be in deep financial trouble. As you might expect if you watch a horror movie or two in your life, this place has a hidden past, and there are other energies than just the family present in it. Frank is the only one noticing these things, and it is starting to drive him towards madness. He seeks out the help of a paranormal investigator that he finds in a magazine, hoping that the investigator will figure out what is going on before Frank's family, or his marriage, is put in real danger. To explain this movie in a quick way would be to call it the Amityville Horror Swedish Edition, as this is very influenced by the earlier American Haunted House films, like the first original Amityville movie. Like many haunted house movies in the late 80s though, The Visitors has more in common with the forgotten Amityville sequels, like Amityville for The Evil Escapes or The Amityville Curse. The first thing that hit me once the film started was the awful Swedish dialect or just the voice of main character Frank, who is played by Kjell Bergqvist. His voice and delivery annoyed the hell out of me. It felt like every line he said was piercing inside of my brain for some reason. It might be just me, but get ready for a lot of Swedish rabble rabble with this voice. That's not to say that Bergqvist is a bad actor though, not at all. His portrayal of Frank is a guy who is supposed to be the breadwinner of the family, the strong, rough, classic male. But he feels like he's failing, resolving to alcohol abuse and lashing out at his wife for his own shortcomings. Some of these scenes where Frank is arguing with his wife Sarah, played by Lena Endre, with her awesome 80s hairdo, does end up becoming a bit comedic, and I had fun with them from that point of view, but I can understand it if others will find them tiresome as they do take up a big chunk of the running time. Jonas Olsson, who plays Peter, the paranormal investigator, brings some comedy to the film, although I'm not sure if it is 100% intentional or not. He walks around with some goofy paranormal devices, and it is fun to watch if you don't take any of this seriously. And we also have two child actors, which thankfully doesn't get more screen time than absolutely necessary. The main story of the haunted house is a bit like Luster though. There's nothing here that I haven't seen before, and the filmmakers are not able to create a spooky atmosphere or deliver anything chilling, which is too bad as the movie is screaming for some scary, creepy scenes. The filmmakers behind this is what I'm going to guess a duo of brothers with Jack and Patrick Ediscord writing the screenplay and Jack directing. This picture did get them over to Hollywood, where they did a few forgotten films, including the 1993 full moon picture, Mandroid. The Visitors is an okay film. It never gets exciting, but it also stares away from ever becoming boring. It is a simple haunted house story that does not go too deep into its own mythology or deliver scares. If you are a fan of these types of films, then it could be an interesting watch. Other than that, I would say that this film will mostly work as a fun curiosity for us up here in Scandinavia. The Visitors gets the average score of 2.5 out of 5. Have you seen the Swedish horror film? If so, what did you think of it? And if you are interested in checking out what we in Norway had to deliver in the supernatural department, then check out my review for our very first horror film, the 1958 Lake of the Dead. Or just check out my channel for plenty of other horror movie reviews. 
Hope you enjoyed this review of the visitors, a like lets me know that more reviews of Scandinavian movies are wanted. Thank you for watching and come back soon for more horror related content here on Cinema Terror.